Lecture 3. Vector Spaces and Subspaces Section 1. Introduction to Vector Spaces In this section, you will learn what vector space is, properties and examples of vector space, and how vector space is applied in data science. A vector space, also called a linear space, is a place where vectors that follow specific rules get together. These specific rules mean that when vectors are added together or multiplied by a scalar number, the result is produced according to specific rules. For example, suppose there is a set of vectors. In that case, we check whether the rule even if vectors are added together, the result is also within the set is satisfied. And whether the rule, the result of multiplying a vector by a number is within the set, is satisfied. If all of these rules are satisfied, it is called a vector space. Formally, we can define vector space as the following. A set called a vector space of a field F if the following conditions are satisfied. The first is closure under addition. For any two vectors U and V in a vector space large V, the sum of U and V also belong to the vector space large V. That is, the result of adding vectors in a vector space always falls within that vector space. The second is closure and a scalar multiplication. For any vector v in a vector space large v and any scalar c in the field f, the product of c and v belongs to the vector space large v. The result of multiplying a vector by a scalar in a vector space always falls within that vector space. The scalar can be real numbers and complex numbers. In other words, a vector space is a place where the rules of calculation are such that you can freely add vectors and multiply them by scalars, and the results will always fit within that space. A field is a mathematical structure consisting of a set of elements and two operations performed on the set, namely, addition and multiplication. In a field, these operations follow specific rules and the results of addition and multiplication are also contained within that field. Additionally, vector spaces must satisfy the following eight axioms. This slide shows only four of them. The remaining four will be shown in the next slide. Associativity of addition For any vectors u, v, and w in the vector space large v, the sum of u and v when added to w is the same as u added to the sum of v and w. Commutativity of addition For any vectors u and v in the vector space large v, the sum of u and v is the same as the sum of v and u. Existence of additive identity There is an element 0 in the vector space large v called the zero vector, such that for any vector v in large v, adding the zero vectors to v results in v itself. Existence of additive inverse for each vector v in the vector space large v, there's a vector minus v, such that when v is added to minus v, the result is the zero vector. Let's go on to the remaining four. Compatibility of a scalar multiplication with field multiplication. For any scalars a and b in the field f, and for any vector v in the vector space large v, multiplying v by b and then by a 
is the same as multiplying V by the product of A and B. Identity element of scalar multiplication. For every vector V in the vector space large V, multiplying V by 1, where 1 is the multiplicative identity in the field F, results in V itself. Distributivity of scalar multiplication with respect to vector addition. For any scalar A in the field F, and for any vectors u and v in a vector space large v, multiplying the sum of u and v by a is the same as multiplying each of u and v by a separately and then adding the results. Distributivity of scalar multiplication with respect to field addition. For any scalars a and b in the field f, and for any vector v in a vector space large v, multiplying v by sum of a and b is the same as multiplying v by a and by b separately and then adding the results. Let's consider the set of all two-dimensional vectors over the real numbers, denoted as R2. This set includes all vectors of the form of this, w, where the elements x and y are real numbers. Let's see, vector addition. If vectors u and v are expressed in this way, the sum can be expressed in this way. Next, scalar multiplication. If she is a real number and a vector v can be expressed in this way, the product of them can be expressed in this way. Because the set R2 with these operations satisfies all the axiom of a vector space, it is a vector space. Vector spaces provide a framework for solving various problems. These are some examples. Data representation. In machine learning, Datasets are often represented as vectors in high-dimensional vector spaces. Each data point is a vector, and the entire dataset is a collection of vectors. Linear transformations. Many operations in data science, such as rotating or scaling data, can be considered linear transformations in vector spaces. Understanding vector spaces helps understand how these transformations work. Dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction techniques like principal component analysis work by identifying a lower dimensional vector space that best represents the data. By doing so, those techniques make computation more efficient and reveal the underlying structure of the data. A vector space is a set of vectors where two operations are defined, vector addition and scalar multiplication. The set follows specific rules such as closure, associativity, and distributivity, ensuring these operations remain within the vector space. Vector spaces provide a framework in which vectors operate. Understanding vector spaces can enhance our understanding of how vectors can be utilized in machine learning. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.